if you have trouble speaking up, if you have trouble speaking out, asking for a raise, speaking up at school, having a difficult conversation, here's an experiment that I'm going to show you that I've actually done. And by you doing it, the experiment, if you have trouble asking for something, it's, it's training ground. If the training is harder than the real deal, the real deal is going to be so much easier once you finish training. So the training that I'm going to give you, the experiment that I've done and that actually works it's quite awkward, it's quite difficult, it's very uncomfortable. But once you and I get comfortable with being uncomfortable, that's when we can have that awkward conversation, that's when we can ask for the raise, that's when we can have speak up at school, that's when that practical area of our life gets so much easier when we can get through this training. So here goes. The first thing that you wanna do, this is called the coffee experiment. And there's two steps to it. It's really simple. It's really easy. Obviously, everything's easier said than done. So here's what you want to do. You want to pick 10 cafes anywhere around where you live, 10 different cafes. And then when you go to these coffee shops, whether you order a latte, a frappuccino, a cappuccino, a tea, whatever it is, once you ask for your order, you're going to then ask for a 10% discount. Why? Because asking for a 10% discount, it's where it gets uncomfortable because you now have to ask someone to give you something that you're feeling very uncomfortable about, such as asking for a raise, such as having a difficult conversation, such as speaking up at school. All that is difficult. And so it's the same thing. So we're just transferring that awkwardness to a different situation. So this becomes a lot easier. So when you go to, up to the coffee shop or to the cashier and you order your drink, then you're going to ask for a 10% discount. Then they're going to say, why? And then you're going to say, because I would really appreciate it. And you're not going to justify it. You're not going to say, because this is an experiment, because I'm just trialing this, because, oh, oh you know, it doesn't matter. It's like, no, you just got to keep a straight face. And as uncomfortable as it gets, you're going to play this out because that's what you're looking for. Because if you can get through this, then you can easily get through that. Because if you're going to like fluster and get all, you know, sweaty, and that's a good thing. Because if you can get through this, you're going to definitely be able to get through that. So here's a bit of a, um, a behind the scenes of when I do. Here you go. So when you're watching me do the actual experiment, I'm not recording the actual person or the coffee shop, just for privacy purposes, but I'm recording the conversation so that you can see the gist of what's going on. So if you're looking to start your own gig, if you're looking to do something outside the norm, you have to fail. If you need to get comfortable with being uncomfortable, try this experiment, look how it's done. And the first two times you might feel a bit awkward, but then you've got to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Hence the experiment. So coffee number one, I got 10% off. And coffee number two, I got 10% off. And now I'm up to find out what's going to happen with coffee number three. Here's what's really, really funny. The first place that I went to to ask for a 10% discount on the coffee, the guy was like, yeah, sure. And then I went over to him and I said, after I, he said yes, I went over to him and I said, look, do you mind? I've recorded you. It's for an experiment. But the guys, I didn't say it's an experiment during the request. I said it afterwards because I recorded him and that's me saying, doing something different. I said, do you mind if I can put you up on social media or I can even blow your face? And he gave me a reason why he couldn't be on, me on camera, and which I can't reveal to you. But what was interesting is he said to me, you know what? Go and do it to another staff member. I won't tell them that you're asking for a test and discount. I'll tell them to give you the coffee for free. <laughs> he was going to give me the free coffee to get the 10% discount. That's hilarious. I'm remembering that it's not about getting the 10% discount. It's about getting comfortable being really uncomfortable. So right now I'm on my way to one of my favorite coffee places where they make a really good coffee, goodly good mocha. I don't drink a lot of coffee, two or three sips, but in line with this experience, I'm going to go there uh, for two reasons. One, because it's my favorite place, I always go there, and it's going to look really weird, it feels even stranger for me to do this experiment and answer a 10% discount. So wish me luck. Please 
get a a small mocha. Small mocha. Okay. With, uh, take away, please. With uh, milk chocolate. Uh, extra hot. Extra hot. With only half the chocolate, please. Half the yes. yes. Thank you. And that is it. Oh, and can I can I can I get a ten percent discount on that? Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Only did I get the coffee. Okay, lots of people around me. Not only did I get the coffee at ten percent, I also got my little tickets that you that you um yeah when you get buy ten you get one free or something like that. So I got the ten percent off and I got that and I was feeling guilty about asking for that, but I thought that the whole purpose of the actual experiment is to get comfortable getting very uncomfortable and now I'm even more uncomfortable because there are a lot of people on the sidelines there looking at me as I'm doing a video in public oh, fantastic totally getting not comfortable with being uncomfortable just as I was about to get into the car and go I just realized I left my keys and the excitement of it all on the counter of the coffee shop now I'm gonna go back to the coffee shop <laughs> I got the keys that were sitting right on the counter after so many cups. Back in the car. Got the coffee. Where is it? At 10% off. Mm -hmm. That's the place that I always go to. Now, the point of the experiment, remember, is not to get the 10% off, but to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. And for me, it was very uncomfortable because I go to this place all the time. I don't drink a lot of coffee on a roll, two or three sips maximum. But I went to this place specifically because if I can go to this place where I always go to, then maybe the other places won't be so much of a big deal for me. So remember, it's about getting comfortable with being uncomfortable. And what you didn't see, which I wasn't able to record, is that one of the last coffee shop I went to, coffee shop number 10, I asked for a 10% discount and the lady says to me, why? I'm like, because I would really appreciate it. She said, but why? And I'm like, oh, just say no, you won't give it to me. And I can be done with it. And she's like, she calls over her manager. Hey, Joe, can I take a look at this? This person, she wants like a 10% discount. And so Joe, the manager, comes over and goes, are you homeless? <laughs> and then the, the girl goes to, to Joe, she doesn't look homeless. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my goodness. Can we just please, like, just say no. Like, I'm happy for you to just say no. Let me just get the coffee and go so I can say I've done it. That's all good. Because when you can experience that awkwardness, that discomfort, it's so easily. Because this other conversation is going to be so much easier. Because, you, you know, by comparison, here's the thing. It's not about getting the 10% discount. Whether you get it or not, it doesn't matter. It's about asking for it and being in that feeling of discomfort. That's what it's about. Once you ask for it and that you don't break the ice by giggling or laughing or saying it's an experiment, once you go through that, now you're going through the challenge, the emotional fitness so for you to overcome, overcome and confront that thing that you really need to do in your own life. That's where the goal is. That's where it all comes together. So it's not about getting the discount. It's about asking the question and just living in the feeling of awkwardness and discomfort of having asked someone that and waiting for them to reply. Whether it's a yes or a no, it doesn't matter. But when you ask and when you go through the emotional fitness of it, whatever awkwardness it might be, you've just won. So if you have trouble speaking up, if you have trouble having a difficult conversation, if you want to improve that skill about yourself, this is the experiment that you want to do. I overheard in an interview Tim Ferriss talking about it. I did it myself. I thought it was brilliant because it was really hard, like hard to do for me, but I know it helped because every time I think I'm going to have a difficult conversation, I don't want to do it. I said to myself, do I want to ask for 10% discount? I'm like, no, 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 I don't want I'm going to have. So you know, it's great training and that's what it does. It just... It makes sure that you are in the right frame of mind 
to be able to have this thing conversation that you ordinarily would dismiss or just ignore because it's easy just to forget about it, right? But when the training is harder than the actual real deal, the real deal becomes so much more easier. So do the training. It's awkward, but it's fun. Have fun with it. Go ask for a coffee. Go take yourself out for coffee. Have a cup of tea. Whatever hot beverage you like. And then ask for the 10% discount. And when you've done that, that's when you want whether you get the discount or not. As always, my advice to my, I don't know what that was, but as always, my advice to myself and to you is that life is a gift. And together, by having conversations that we don't want to have, that's one way in which we can completely unbox ourselves and the environment that we live in. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you on the very next one tomorrow.